What's up guys, Nolan here. Wanted to put out a quick video on today's roadmap roundup because there's a few interesting things that were added to the release window for Alpha 4.0, aka the Pyro patch, aka also the server meshing patch update, whatever you want to call it. The Zeus Mark II CL, which the Zeus was already tentative for 4.0 but it was the exploration version. This is the cargo running or the medium freight version, which makes sense because they're doing all the cargo updates in the next patch for 324. It will be nice to have a little bit of something new that's gonna be interesting for cargo coming with that, or at least after that. But something to keep in mind here is both of these are tentative for Q3 2024. We are in the middle of Q3, that's July, August, and September. So as long as they're trying to stick to the schedule here, all of this should be around by the end of September. For those that don't know, 324 is Evocati right now. And it seems like wave one could be any day, even today. Now, we'll see what ends up happening with that. And in case you're really out of the loop, that's a lot of stuff about cargo. That's the cargo hauling missions, the personal instincts hangers, and the freight elevators for those hangers. Basically, if you do something to your hangar, it's going to stay that way. Your hangar is your hangar when you choose your starting location. You can leave boxes in there. You can leave vehicles. You can come in, park your ships. And then if you have a vehicle that you want to put in your ship, it's already going to be there. You're loaded up into the ship. It makes it very easy to do pretty much anything you want when it comes to loading, unloading, moving cargo around, things like that. It's very nice. So again, we'll be cool if we do end up getting the freight version of the Zeus. I do not have this version. I have the interceptor version or sorry, what they're calling the bounty hunter version, which since the crew consists of one to three, we're thinking that the EMP and the quantum dampening is going to be usable by just the pilot. You're not going to need somebody else in the ship in order to use it, which would be very nice addition to the game. Not going to just need to have the mantis out there if you want to be able to use the emp or quantum dampen and you're not going to need a second person like in the Antares. as a space dorito fan i approve and it's got some cool functionality to it as well however we don't know what's going up. it's not on the release view we just have the two other zeus's for 4.0 now with the cl and the es not sure when the mr is actually going to show up if you are a fan of the game and have played recently at least the game at its full extent then you'll know the gameplay loops aren't quite there i shouldn't even say quite they're not there they're really not there's not a whole lot to do the the real prime I'm fun to have in Star Citizen right now is something that you set up with your friends, org versus org stuff, stuff like that. At least when there's not an event like Xenothreat going on. These caves and asteroid bases that they just added for 4.0 should spice things up a little bit. But again, if you've played the game at all, then you'll know cave missions. You'll know similar bunker and or base missions. I'm going to assume that these are going to be very similar. They're just adding a bit of spice. They're adding a bit of variety to whatever you can do, which isn't bad. It's actually really good. But what's really actually really good and what really wanted me to make this video today was this space stations contested zones these are basically dungeons these are like little dungeons that they're going to be adding to the game and again tentative they're planning to add it for 4.0 which could be in the next couple of months as long as they stick to the plan here contested zones are a local feature coming to pyros space stations introducing fps gameplay with various layouts tailored to this purpose the zones will feature a progression system required tokens to unlock different zones giving access to the loot inside collecting all the tokens will allow a player to open the final door and claim the grand prize so that seems like a dungeon feature. It could even be like a roguelike or a roguelite system within these zones. The only difference being what happens when you die. Do you get locked out from the other zones? Do you lose all your tokens? That's yet to be seen. And I'm assuming that if you die, you just respawn and you go back. But it depends on if the door locks behind you when you're making progress and things like that. Either way, this is a very interesting system. Depends on what's going to happen when you actually finish it. When's the reset going to be? When can you go back? When can you do this mission again? It's just adding a bit of interesting gameplay to the game in general as long as these are just open to the game and it's not going to be like a limited time thing or it's not a specific event time thing we'll have to wait and see on that end but this right here seemed cool to me this seems really interesting it seems like they're adding some kind of dungeon feature to just space stations contested zones within pyro let me know let me know what you guys think like i mentioned earlier we might get 324 wave one here any day now I'm gonna be jumping on that when i can that's gonna be over on stream and i'll put up some videos if i can not completely groundbreaking gameplay but just very nice very nice to have and if you're a cargo hauler actually you'll enjoy it a lot because you get those cargo missions you can make it very easier make it a lot easier to move stuff around within your hangar things like that so if you are going to be a space trucker then you're excited for this one everybody else just nice just nice to have and it's going to make the game a bit easier for us as we go forward so stay tuned for that stuff otherwise you guys know the deal click all the buttons on the screen to support what i do if you guys are interested in helping me get to twitchcon this year i got the patreon link below thanks to everybody that's already over there follow me on twitter or join the discord for the latest news check out my other channels for other games right here otherwise thank you very much for watching hope you have a nice day in the verse see you guys